There are several different types of breast cancer, including Ductal carcinoma, this begins in the milk duct and is the most common type, lobular carcinoma, this starts in the lobules. Invasive breast cancer occurs when the cancer cells break out from inside the lobules or ducts and invade nearby tissue. This increases the chance of cancer spreading to other parts of the body. Non-invasive breast cancer develops when the cancer remains inside its place of origin and has not yet spread. However, these cells can sometimes progress to invasive breast cancer. Diagnosis. A doctor often diagnoses breast cancer as the result of routine screening or when a woman approaches her doctor after detecting symptoms. Several diagnostic tests and procedures help to confirm a diagnosis. Breast exam. The doctor will check the breasts for lumps and other symptoms. During the examination, the person may need to sit or stand with their arms in different positions, such as above their head or by their sides. Imaging tests. Several tests can help detect breast cancer. Mammogram, this is a type of X-ray that doctors commonly use during an initial breast cancer screening. It produces images that can help a doctor detect any lumps or abnormalities. A doctor will usually follow any suspicious results with further testing. However, mammography sometimes shows a suspicious area that turns out not to be cancer. Ultrasound, this scan uses sound waves to help a doctor differentiate between a solid mass and a fluid-filled cyst. MRI, magnetic resonance imaging MRI, combines different images of the breast to help a doctor identify cancer or other abnormalities. A doctor may recommend an MRI as a follow-up to a mammogram or ultrasound. Doctors sometimes use them as a screening tool for those at higher risk of breast cancer. Here, learn more about how to prepare for a mammogram. Biopsy. In a biopsy, the doctor extracts a sample of tissue and sends it for laboratory analysis. This shows whether the cells are cancerous. If they are, a biopsy indicates which type of cancer has developed, including whether or not the cancer is hormone sensitive. Diagnosis also involves staging the cancer to establish the size of a tumor how far it has spread whether it is invasive or non-invasive. Staging provides a picture of a person's chances of recovery and their ideal course of treatment. Treatment. Treatment will depend on several factors, including the type and stage of the cancer person's sensitivity to hormones the age, overall health, and preferences of the individual. The main treatment options include Radiation therapy, surgery, biological therapy, or targeted drug therapy, hormone therapy, chemotherapy. Factors affecting the type of treatment a person has will include the stage of the cancer, other medical conditions, and their individual preference. Surgery. If surgery is necessary, the type will depend on both the diagnosis and individual preference. Types of surgery include Lumpectomy, this involves removing the tumor and a small amount of healthy tissue around it. A lumpectomy can help prevent the spread of the cancer. This may be an option if the tumor is small and easy to separate from its surrounding tissue. Mastectomy, a simple mastectomy involves removing the lobules, ducts, fatty tissue, nipple, areola, and some skin. In some types, a surgeon will also remove the lymph nodes and muscle in the chest wall. Here, learn about the different types of mastectomy. Sentinel node biopsy, if breast cancer reaches the sentinel lymph nodes, which are the first nodes to which a cancer can spread, it can spread into other parts of the body through the lymphatic system. If the doctor does not find cancer in the sentinel nodes, then it is usually not necessary to remove the remaining nodes. Axillary lymph node dissection, if a doctor finds cancer cells in the sentinel nodes, they may recommend removing several lymph nodes in the armpit. This can prevent the cancer from spreading. Reconstruction, following mastectomy, a surgeon can reconstruct the breast to look more natural. This can help a person cope with the psychological effects of breast removal. The surgeon can reconstruct the breast at the same time as performing a mastectomy or at a later date. They may use a breast implant or tissue from another part of the body. Find out more about breast reconstruction surgery. Radiation therapy. A person may undergo radiation therapy around a month after surgery. Radiation involves targeting the tumor with controlled doses of radiation that kill any remaining cancer cells. Learn more about the benefits and adverse effects of radiation therapy. 
Chemotherapy. A doctor may prescribe cytotoxic chemotherapy drugs to kill cancer cells if there is a high risk of recurrence or spread. When a person has chemotherapy after surgery, doctors call it adjuvant chemotherapy. Sometimes, a doctor may choose to administer chemotherapy before surgery to shrink the tumor and make its removal easier. Doctors call this neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Learn more about chemotherapy here. Hormone blocking therapy. Doctors use hormone blocking therapy to prevent hormone sensitive breast cancers from returning after treatment. Hormone therapy may be used to treat estrogen receptor ER positive and progesterone receptor PR positive cancers. They usually administer hormone blocking therapy after surgery but might sometimes use it beforehand to shrink the tumor. Hormone blocking therapy may be the only option for people who are not suitable candidates for surgery, chemotherapy, or radiotherapy. Doctors may recommend a person has hormone therapy for 5 to 10 years after surgery. However, the treatment will not affect cancers that are not sensitive to hormones. Examples of hormone blocking therapy medications may include Tamoxifen aromatase inhibitor ovarian ablation or suppression gocerolin, which is a luteinizing hormone releasing agonist drug that suppresses the ovaries. Hormone treatment may affect fertility. Biological treatment. Targeted drugs can destroy specific types of breast cancer. Examples include Trastuzumab, Herceptin, Lapatinib, Ticurb, Bevacizumab, Avastin. Treatments for breast and other cancers can have severe adverse effects. When deciding on a treatment, people should discuss the potential risks with a doctor and look at ways to minimize the side effects. If you like the video kindly subscribe in this channel baby time FYI and thank you.